Next question. Hi. Um, as a software developer, I love how the show manages to stay somewhat grounded while I'm still exploring these crazy concepts you guys do. So my question is, how many technical writers do you have, and how often do they fiddle with you guys? Uh, we're all technical writers. I think everybody here is, is deeply interested in technology. Um, we have a writer on, on our staff who was a consultant initially on the show, who was a, a former interrogator, uh, also an Air Force pilot, uh, Tony Camarino, and he's... Um, Sitting right over there. But, but in terms of, of the technology of the show, I think you know, it's something Joan and I have always been interested in, uh, as well as our paranoia of all social media. <laughs> you know, Jonah, one thing we had talked about a while ago, and I think this is interesting, and I think it bears repeating, is people give away so much information these days. I mean, you, you, you people are probably told everybody on your Facebook page that you're here and your house is open, you'd be robbed. And <laughs> it's just, it, it's amazing because 20 years ago, you couldn't, the CIA couldn't even compile this information that people are just giving out now. Yeah. And I, I think what's great about the show, it does give you pause about all of that. Like, where is this going and who's looking at it? Yeah, absolutely. We, we hope to be sort of weighing in a, a little bit on that uh, because I think it's a, definitely an odd moment in, in, in history that we've lived through over the last 10 years in which everyone decided, okay, we're just going to put ourselves out there. Um, not necessarily a bad thing, but maybe a little bit of a bad thing. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Next question. Hi, guys. Um, I've been watching the show since the beginning, and the one thing that amazes me about this show is the character moments, the moments you guys have between each other and just unique situations, everything from Fisco's uh, uh, side mission with the uh, Russian model, the great moments in those bits, oh, that was to, your, uh, to uh, Finch's explanation of Pi, that blew me away. What, what's your favorite moments that you guys get? Well, the model thing didn't suck. <laughs> 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 Please write more of that. <laughs> David Slack wrote that. He's right over there. <laughs> he's been a, he's been getting a Christmas present every every year since. <laughs> How about the rest of you? Do you have an answer to that question? I, I like the mathematical stuff. I like the I, I like when uh, someone gets a chance to kind of settle in and explain something philosophical or mathematical. I, I enjoy that. It, it educates me, and uh, it's I, somehow a kind of neutral text like that seems a good acting challenge. Uh, how do you invest an explanation of a mathematical principle with a kind of fervor or <laughs> intensity? And in so doing, you create your own character, a guy who gets fervent. <laughs> about pie, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, also, one other thing I need to say, um, great job with uh, Dark Knight Returns. Uh, when I found out you're, you were the one behind that voice, it blew me away. Thanks very much. <laughs> it was kind of daunting. <laughs> Why was it daunting? Do you like voice work? No, I, I like it. It is very difficult, I, I should say. It's hard. You get in a booth there, and if you have a good director, they're going to push you and make you do a lot of screaming and groaning and gurgling and stuff but more more than that I was I was daunted by the fact that I was uh, I was attempting to play a character that was very well known and very well loved and had already been you know torn up by some very good players well it's also probably tricky cuz your voice is so great and so recognizable that you probably had to try to change it yeah then what do you do yeah, yeah exactly how do you do that and then not do too much and, yeah. and still a, be you and yeah. all that stuff uh, time Thank for you. one last question, Superman. Hi there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi there. My question is for Michael. Uh, between Benjamin Linus and this, which is more challenging and which do you prefer? Well, those are the, see, these are both really good roles, and I, d I don't think of them as maybe separately as, as you do. Bo <laughs> bo both, are, both are smart men on a mission. I mean, it was fun to be running around in the jungle. All of that was good, and all that <laughs> supernatural stuff is, is good. But uh, I'm happy to be a good guy now, too. Jim? I, I just, uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out uh, to a lot of your families here that are uh, relatives that are in the SEAL community that really helped me tremendously. 
uh, with the gun work especially and tactical training, CQC training and whatnot, that have really helped uh, me as far as uh, building the character of Reese. So I, I really appreciate it. Please, if you have any SEALs in your family, to thank them. Yeah, because it does look like Reese really knows what he's doing. It doesn't look like he just like boom, 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 boom. All right, well, thank you, everybody. Great show. Season three is out on DVD. I highly recommend checking it out and all the other seasons. And, of course, season four with the girls working at Macy's. Can't wait for that. <laughs> <laughs>